What's up legends? Welcome back to the channel. I've discovered an annoying feature with my nice new Elgato face cam. That being that it doesn't save the settings, which is one of the flagship selling features of the camera. Pretty annoying. Now, I know how to fix it and I'm going to show you how. Let's have a look shall we? Okay, so we're ready to update the firmware now. Um, and you do this from the Elgato Camera Hub uh, software. Uh, if you don't have this installed, I'll post a link to it in the description. You can get it just via the Elgato Downloads page. I'd imagine everyone would have this installed um, because you use it basically to kind of configure your settings and such. Now, before you update the firmware, it's important that you don't have any apps currently using it. So um, you don't want to be, you don't want El Elgato or whatever you're using, any camera software holding the camera open. It's got to be inactive, so you don't want the LED on. Now to update the firmware, you do it from here. Now normally when you look in here, you don't get many options. It tells you what the current version of the firmware is, but nothing else. If you hold control, if you're on Windows, or the command key if you're using a Mac, and then click, you get a little extra button, update firmware, which we're going to click. And it's telling us we're going to update from version 2.26 to 2.52, which is the latest version. Uh, firmware version 2.52 comes bundled with the Camera Hub version 1.1, which is the latest version, I believe. Just click update. It will do its thing. Now, as it says, don't unplug it at this point because it could break it. Update in firmware. Okay, it's going to restart the camera. Successfully updated version 2.52. Click OK. And that is that. So now, if you change anything and save it, you will find, despite the fact it used to tell you before it was saving, you will now find it does in fact actually save. And that's that. Very quick, very easy. Hopefully it helps. Well, hopefully you found that useful. It's a bit annoying that you have to do a firmware upgrade on, on these nice new devices, but it is brand new, I suppose. It's to be expected. There's going to be bugs. Uh, future cameras will probably come out with the latest version, I would expect. But if you've got a camera with an older version of the firmware, hopefully this has sorted your problem if you've experienced the same as me. Hope you've enjoyed this. Catch you next time. Bye.